in the lab. But before we start, we need to ask ourselves, why do we need to do titration? Now, titration is useful when you are giving a solution that you don't know the molarity of it. By performing titration, you will get to know the concentration of this solution. So how can we do this? We will be using a titrant. A titrant usually, it's a solution that we know everything about it, which means that we know it's sodium hydroxide, and also we know the molarity of it. Now this titrant, you fill it in the burette. So the titrant goes to the burette. Now the solution is called analyte. And the analyte, we add it to the Erlenmeyer flask. Now, in order to start your titration, you need to take a known volume of your analyte. So I will be taking 10 milliliter with a volumetric pipette. So this is going to give me a very accurate volume. So my analyte here is hydrochloric acid. Okay, so this is 10 milliliter of my hydrochloric acid. Now I can start the titration, but wait a second. When do I know that I have added enough of the titrant to my analyte? For that, I will be using what is called an acid base indicator, and in this case, I will use phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein, it's an acid-base indicator that is colorless in acidic medium and once the medium turns to acid to basic, it turns to pink. So I will be adding to the acid few drops, three to four drops. As you can see, the solution color did not change. Okay, so I should have a good stirring and now I'm ready to start my titration. So I will be adding the titrant to the analyte, okay? And I will be monitoring the color of the solution. When I start to see that the color of the phenolphthalein starts to stay for a longer time, I will slow down the addition of the base. As you can see now, if I just go drop by drop, you can see that the pink color appears, then quickly disappears. This means that I um, still have an acidic medium. Now, when I see that the color starts to take longer time to disappear, this means I'm close to the equivalence point. And now, when I consume all the acid and the I have excess space, the color of the solution will turn to pink, as you can see in here. Now to be precise and accurate with the titration, it's always recommended to repeat your titration two times. Then you can take the average volume. So let's take a look now, how can we figure out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid solution from what we have performed in here. Before we go there, we need to look at the burette and record the volume of the sodium hydroxide added. So now, I know the volume of the sodium hydroxide added. I know the concentration of the sodium hydroxide that I have used. I know how much I have added of the hydrochloric acid, which is 10 milliliter. I will be able to calculate the concentration of this solution. So let's go there. Okay, so now that I'm done with my titration, I have recorded the following data. So for HCl, all what I know is that I have used 10 milliliter of the HCl solution and I will be looking for its molarity. Now, the sodium hydroxide that I have used, I know that I have added to the solution from the burette, 7.5 milliliter. 
And also, I know that the solution of sodium hydroxide that I have used has a 0.1 molarity. Okay? So how can I find the molarity of the HCl now? For any strong acid, strong base reaction, the net ionic equation can be written as follows. You have hydro, uh, H plus plus OH minus that will neutralize to give water liquid. So from this net ionic equation, I can tell that one mole of H plus consumes one mole of OH minus which means that the number of mole of H plus is equal to the number of mole of OH minus. Now, from the expression of molarity, I know that the number of mole is equal to molarity multiplied by volume, which means that the molarity multiplied by volume of H plus is equal to molarity multiplied by volume of OH minus. Now, the molarity of H plus in this case is equal to molarity of HCl. The molarity of OH minus is equal to the molarity of NaOH. So I can say molarity of HCl is equal to molarity times volume for an AOH divided by the volume of HCl and in this case that's going to be molarity 0.1 molar multiplied by volume of NaOH 7.5 milliliter I can just leave it in milliliter because milliliter and milliliter will cancel out volume of HCl that I used it's 10.0 milliliter so now the molarity is equal to 0.075 mole now I have determined the molarity of the hydrochloric acid solution by titration great so now that we have seen the calculation you have seen the experimental procedure. I hope this video will be very helpful to you. I will see you next time.